Hello, this is a recording I've made of a presentation I've put together about using Google Drive in the classroom. I've called this presentation the Paperless Classroom, an idea about teaching in the 21st century. Okay, so what's um, in this presentation? Well, it's a suggestion on how we could work smarter and improve student achievement. It's a brief overview of the benefits of going paperless, well, nearly almost paperless. And I'll show you a live demonstration of the system. At the moment we store students' assignments in books, just like these ones in this photograph. But these should be a thing of the past. We've got quite a few groups at the college, and at least we've had 36 huge books full of student essays. I've got an alternative to this. So what is this system? Well, it's called Google Drive. It's tried and tested. It's used in schools and colleges in the USA and in the UK. And most importantly of all, it's simple to use. So what can Google Drive do? The list is pretty much endless, but here's a few of the main ones. You can create a Word style document, as well as presentations, spreadsheets, newsletters, and share them with colleagues and students. You can store documents, like Word documents that you can upload from your desktop, and you've got 15 or in some cases 30 gigabytes of storage space. And this is one I like really a lot about marking students' work. You can create comments and annotate on the document, and those comments are instantly saved and shared with the student. You can conduct research within that document, and there is a revision history of the document. This is a really smart system that Google are using on their documents, and Pretty much you can review any history of that document since it was first started. And of course you can upload documents, files and even photographs for storage. So what are the benefits of paperless assignments? Well, there are quite a few. I've listed 10 here. The first one, no hard copies of assignments to hand in by students. Assignments don't get lost. How often have students said, I'm sure I handed that assignment in? No more lost memory sticks. No piles of assignments on your desk to mark. That's a good one. Assignments are marked online from any PC, laptop or, mo or mobile device. And you can provide instant feedback to students. If the student's online and working on the document, and a tutor is marking it, that student will receive instant feedback. Also, an email is generated automatically once the comments have been inserted on the document. Google Drive provides better formative and summative feedback, and I think this leads to greater achievement. Another advantage is that IVs can dip into view assignments and that makes the system far more rigorous in that, in that an internal verifier can pick any assignments from the list on the system. You can also set up online shared progress trackers. There are plenty of other benefits as well, such as no more printing, and that will save the college or school a substantial amount of money. What is needed to implement this? Well, staff need a Google account. Students also need a Google account. And although the system is very easy to use, students obviously will need to be taught how to use the system, preferably at induction. And just as importantly, staff need enthusiasm needed for this, what is really and effectively a quite a large change. OK, I'm now going to show you a quick demo of what I've set up on my Google Drive. And uh, of course, everyone's different, but this is hopefully um, something that will work for you as well. 
OK, so the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to create a document. Now this is my drive and if I was a student what I would need to do is create a document. So I click the red box in the left hand corner and I'm going to create a test document. So I'll click on document and this is where the student would type in their assignment details. So I'm just going to type in a, a brief paragraph or so. Okay, so obviously a student's work would hopefully be uh, a little bit lengthy than this, but at least it shows you how the system works. Okay, so assuming the, the student has finished the document, uh, the next thing that needs to be, done is, to be done is give the document a name. So I'll just call this test123 and click OK. The next thing I need to do is click share. Now this is one good thing about Google Documents is that you share documents with your tutor or with your other student friends and you can work collaboratively. So I'm just going to change the permissions to who has access to this to anyone with the link and I'm going to change access to can view to can edit and then I'm going to click save. The next thing I'm going to do is copy this link so I can share it. Okay, so the reason I've copied the link is because I've created an assignment submission form that students will use to submit their work once they've completed their assignments. So I'm just going to put a fictitious name into the form here. Just use the drop-down boxes to select the assignment and then I'm going to paste the link into the box. I could make a comment. I'll just type in this as a test and then I will click Submit. I could click to submit another assignment if I wanted. Okay, so what happens when the student submits their work? Well, I've set up a spreadsheet where all the assignments are stored so that the teacher can then mark the document. This is how it's done. You just click on the document link and open up the document. Now I can then mark it and I can make comments. So I could put something like, I could highlight Dreamliner by Boeing and I could um, insert a comment. Okay, so I'm going to put watch your spelling. I can make a comment. Uh, if I wanted to make another comment, I could do. Let's make another one. So I'm going to ask the student to just expand on that. So we'll just highlight and click on comments and we'll make another comment. Spelling is not very good today. Okay, so we've made two comments and we could make as many comments as we wanted. Now, when I made all the comments, the student will get the comments instantly, providing they're near their computer, of course, and they can start amending the document and resolving the comments. One thing to remember is that even though a comment is resolved, it won't disappear completely from the document. It's just hidden from view. Another useful feature of Google Drive is that if the student is stuck and doesn't know quite what to uh, to write about, 
uh, there's a very useful tool called the research tool. I'll just show you quickly how to use it. It opens up uh, Google search to the right of the document and the student can type in information about the subject and uh, here we go I've just done a search for the Boeing Dreamliner and as you can see there's a lot of information about it. Uh, I won't go into too much detail about this but you can preview the website you can insert a link and you can actually even cite um, the document that you've been researching. When the student has made the changes and the amendments and improved the document, the teacher will get an email saying that the student has made the changes. So the tutor will then go back and um, mark that document again. And on the spreadsheets, once I'm happy and um, that the uh, grade has been met, I can just uh, type in pass on the spreadsheet and uh, I've set it so it will turn to green automatically and the tutor puts his, in his initials to say that the document has been marked. This is just a brief overview of what Google Drive can do. I think the benefits are enormous in the classroom uh, and at the very least it will save paper and um, I'm convinced that the main benefit is the improved feedback that students will get. It's much quicker, much faster and the student can work on that document as soon as they get that feedback which is often instant. I think the benefits will be enormous to tutors and to students and so I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Thank you for watching.